All right, guys, what is up? So I've had this article forwarded to me quite a few times in the last few days, and the title is How to Hide a Promiscuous Pass from Your New Man. This is an ongoing sort of thing that shows up on Quora and Reddit and a bunch of other sites where women are finding that guys are dumping them because they find out that, um, well, they've got a, they've racked up a pretty high notch count or body count, whatever it is that you want to call it. Um, these days, but um, this is an article dated at the end of February um, It's the subtitle is sometimes a sex is so slamming you can't risk Scaring him off. Here's what you got to do and then it's got a few tips now I'm at the point now where I don't know if this is satire or if this is real um, Even there's a there's a notice in the top of all of these articles now. It says, Notice, we recently received a credible report alleging that one of our writers carries significant amounts of Russian ancestry by way of her grandfather. After a thorough investigation, we've determined to fire the writer and delete her articles. We consider the matter closed. And then it has an official statement after that. So again, take it with a grain of salt. But the, but the point here is a lot of these um, points that are mentioned... Um, actually are being used. So there's, you know, the reason why stand-up comedy is so funny and, you know, you crack up listening to these guys is because there's always truth to every joke. It always comes at the expense of somebody. So even even in satire, they're really trying to tell you something. But I want to read this to you and you guys tell me what you think in the comments. This is like shit, like stuff is getting crazy lately. Anyway, um, I'm not even going to read the um, intro part, uh, your partner's the only person, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and number one here is to basically there's there, there's points the way that it's broken down, how to deceive your boyfriend today of your past. Number one is try to find out, try to find out the number of people he has slept with. So right away <laughs> defined as if it's more than what you've bagged so far, chill, you don't have to say anything. All right. Well, <laughs> number two, lie. It's that simple important then follow up with almost a virginal act but don't overdo it sorry important then follow up with an almost virginal act but don't overdo it number three tell all if you must but with a twist okay like promoting a couple of bonks to an old boyfriend's status that way you can you can get down to telling tales of about two or three men in total you know before i read these other points um, I mentioned this in my book in one of the chapters, most definitely for sure. Um, the way that women generally determine notch count, if they're, if they're going to volunteer the information or if the conversation comes up, um, guys, you need to understand that you can't rely on what they say. It's always deceptive. And there's a part of it that's intentional and there's a part of it that's unintentional. It's intentional in the way that women don't want to be slut shamed. Um, they don't want to be made to feel bad for the choices that they've made in the past. They don't want to be held accountable. Um, there's this, you know, there's this new age movement today where uh, women are told they can be as promiscuous as men without consequences. And of course, uh, we know that's not true, you know, simply for the reason that guys are dumping girls when they find out about the promiscuous past and they're always trying to find way, ways to hide it. So there's one part of it. The second part of it is they don't know how to count it, if we're being honest. This is how women count the promiscuous past. They think boyfriends that they were in long-term relationships with or any guy that they dated, generally speaking, over 60 to 90 days, probably about 90 days. So that disqualifies threesomes, lesbian encounters, one night stands, oral, you know, like you get the idea. Um, you can generally speaking double, some guys will even tell you, you can generally even triple whatever number they're going to volunteer. But let's keep going through this list. So number four is tell the truth. And it says, maybe some men are actually not bothered by a woman's lively past, but before you tell all, be sure you are dating one, one such. How do you find out? Well, is he hot spelled H A W T. The only guys that are not concerned with a woman's promiscuous past are generally these new age, progressive, uh, liberal, left-leaning sort of beta males. Um, they're just like, oh, it doesn't matter, you know, uh, why is it your business? Like, those are the sort of lyrics that you have, but your typical high value guy uh, that's unplugged recognizes that she's concerned with his future and he needs to be concerned with her past. Let's go to number five. Pretend past lovers were terrible. Oh, this will be good. And even if you've decided to, sorry, to reveal everything, remember that when you did, you didn't enjoy it very much either. It's not that it didn't mean anything. It's just that with him, it means so much more. 
Wow, really fluffing the dude up. So temper your truth or dare with a bit of baby, you're the best, always goes down well. Number six, <laughs> dude lying. <laughs> Number six, and say that they abused you. I'm sure this is one that's been used before. Don't let your man think too critically when you're being creative with the truth. Toy with his emotions by hinting or even saying outright that a lot of these old boyfriends amused you. Sorry, abused you. All right, number seven. Do your cyber op and do it right. What does that mean, cyber op? Cyber op sec and do it right. These chicks have these terms. That they don't even make sense to half the world today. Uh, you already knew to prune any evidence from your social media. So deleting... Uh, I guess evidence of the prom promiscuous past, which makes sense. I've seen, um, I've seen women do that, so that's absolutely 100% confirmed. But I bet you didn't know you should also create plausible cover story for missing information or blocks of time. They've done that too, also confirmed. Blaming it on an ex hacking and vandalizing your accounts after a bad breakup is a good old trusty, but you can really cook with your creative juices here. The more elaborate and pre-planned the story, the harder it will be to crack your new dude's prodding questions. Have an answer to every question. Most importantly, have fun. I think, I think this is a serious article. Number eight. And finally, always bring trusted friends in on the conspiracy. Wow. Let's build an entire house of cards of lies, eh? One more thing, make sure your friends are briefed. If you don't want to be in a social, see, this is the whole sisterhood thing, how women always have each other's backs um, at the expense of guys at all given times. Um, you have to understand that women will choose their friends over their man, even if they're married. You know, generally speaking, um, they'll they'll choose a sisterhood over over their husbands. It's 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 very common. It's a lot more common than what you think. So. She's, she's recommending here bringing, bringing your friends in onto, <laughs> into the big lie. You don't want to be in a social situation where one of them suddenly blurts out, do you remember when we were in Ibiza and you did it with three men? And one night. <laughs> this is the whole foam cannon party, party in Ibiza. <laughs> if you guys have been to Ibiza, you know. P.S. Did you know that, oh, this is something about a STD test on the bottom. <laughs> Use coupon code. So... The article talks about promiscuity, and then at the bottom it has a call to action to get a um, STD test. I'll, um, you know what? I'll, I'm just going to use this for the thumbnail of the video, uh, the actual imagery over here. It's really funny. Um, it's, it's a blonde girl going like this, and every image is a dude. Um, actually, they're all black dudes in this one here. Um, anyway. How to hide your promiscuous past. So there you go. This is how they do it. I just wanted to go to one of these other articles because when I pulled this up, um, so here's a Reddit article and it says, should I, and what I'll do is I'll link both of these below. It says, should I hide my promiscuous past when I'm in a new relationship? This is in a sex uh, subreddit. Hey there, I hope this isn't the wrong place to ask for some advice. I'm a 23-year-old female with a higher than usual number of past sexual partners and being honest and open about this caused me a lot of trouble. Shocking, right? First of all, I got into trouble at work for it. After I told the number of the number to one of my coworkers, she made a huge effing deal out of it and the news spread all over the office behind my back. It was really embarrassing to the point. Well, if it's embarrassing, then why are you doing it, ladies? You know, if you know that it's embarrassing and promiscuity is, is, is not something that you're going to be proud of, stop doing it. It's pretty simple. Anyway, to the point I decided to quit instead of stay. So she quit her job because instead of staying the infamous whore of the company is what she wrote there. Since then, I know better and I only share this information with my boy. Oh, now she's telling her boyfriends. Boyfriends. She's 23. It's like, you know, sequential boyfriends or maybe, you know, simultaneous at the same time. She runs a bunch of plates or a train, whatever. Um, but they don't usually take it easy either. Shocking. You know, the boyfriends don't like the information about the notch count. In my last few relationships, it has become, how many relationships has this chick had? She's 23. It has become somewhat an issue. If they ask, I don't tell them, they get upset. If I tell them that I'm, that I'm sexually active since I was 13. Whoa, dude. So for those of you that don't know, um, I'm going to have to do a, a, a detailed video on this because there's a lot of studies and I've got some visual references. Maybe I'll do it on Unplugged Alpha. But generally speaking, if like the younger a woman is, the more sexual partners. So here she's saying 13. So a 13-year-old uh, versus a 20-year-old that loses their virginity at 20 versus 13. Higher incidence of mental disorders, abortions, single motherhood, uh, marital dissatisfaction, divorce. Um, like, like it goes... 
like the entire gauntlet of what could perhaps ruin a woman is generally tied into promiscuity. I'm gonna do a full detail with the research data at some point, so make sure you're subscribed to catch that. Anyway, I was 13 and had lots of partners since then. They never take it positively. Shocking again, right? I'm a typical butterface, butterface, which means everything's hot but her face, generally, and kind of a reserved bookworm, so it even takes them by surprise. Should I keep it a secret then? Should I just lie and tell them a lower, or more average number? Should I keep on searching for a partner who tolerates this kind of thing? Wow, this is hilarious. Anyway, um, I'm not even going to read these comments because it's like it's it's it, it starts getting pretty pretty disgusting. That's the state of the world today, uh, fellas. I know it's mostly guys watching this video, and um, you know I'm going to wrap it up on on this point on this lesson. Uh, women are concerned with a man's financial future, his ability to provide. Um, I've often said women wait at the finish line and they pick the winners. You know, women have a lot of tolerance for younger guys um, with a plan chasing excellence. They don't have a lot of tolerance for an older guy um, with a plan with nothing to show for it, still chasing excellence. But men need to look at women's past. Women are looking at your future. Men need to look at her past, especially if you're going to consider her for anything long term. Girlfriend material, mother of your kids. Any woman that has a very high notch count is a very poor choice. Um, I've got details on that in my book. I know those of you that have read it already know that. If you haven't got the book, it's pinned below. There's lots of good resources in that content. And I will definitely do a longer form video on the Unplugged Alpha podcast at some point in the future, breaking down promiscuity and all the studies tied around it. Anyway, what do you guys think? Uh, leave a message, leave a comment below, smash the like button. Somebody might need to see this, share it with them. And again, check out the top pin comment. There's lots of useful resources there. See you guys later. Peace.